Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 8. In this module, we are covering practical aspects of ordinary differential equations initial value problem. We have looked at a several examples of ordinary differential equations initial value problems from practical interest. This is the last lecture of this course and we are going to finish off this course by taking a couple of practical examples that we started off this course with. Before we do that, let's go to the type of problems that we have considered in this module. The first example that we considered is a damped spring mass system, the model for which is given over here. Okay, What we did was we wrote V equal to dx by dt and then we obtained the uh, two ODEs of the form dx by dt equal to v and dv by dt equal to this guy. This we wrote as a multivariate ODE. Thereafter, we looked at the van der Paul oscillator. Again, as before, we wrote dx by dt equal to v and we got two equations in two variables. This two equations we were able to solve for a low value of mu such as mu equal to 1 we were able to solve using ODE 45. However, for a fairly large value of mu such as mu equal to 1000 this model becomes very stiff and we need to resort to ODE 15s. We saw what stiff systems mean. Stiff system basically means a system where there are uh, uh, slow dynamics and fast dynamics mixed together in the same OD set sequence of ODEs. We are what I call this is back to the beginning. Right in lecture 1.1 I had given a motivating example. The example was uh, Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni hitting a ball with an initial velocity of uh, V naught at an angle uh, given by theta naught and we need to find out where the ball is going to land. Okay, So, to set up the problem, what we have is we have initial velocity and initial angle and therefore we have the velocity in the horizontal component and in the vertical component. We are starting at x equal to 0, y equal to 0 with a velocity of 35 in this direction. Okay, In the vertical direction, we have gravity acting and in the horizontal direction we have air drag that is acting. Okay, The acceleration uh, due to gravity in y direction is given by d square y by dt squared equal to minus g and air drag in x direction will result in d square x by dt square equal to minus kappa multiplied by velocity u where u is the x component of velocity and v is the y component of velocity. The initial velocity and initial location are given. The initial angle is also given because the angle is 45 degrees or pi by 4 radians. We get the horizontal component of velocity is 35 multiplied by cos pi by 4 and the vertical component is 35 multiplied by sine pi by 4. The system of ODEs that we want to solve as before, we are going to write dx by dt equal to u and dy by dt equal to v. So we have dx by dt equal to u, dy by dt equal to v, d square x by dt squared which is du by dt equal to minus kappa u and dv by dt equal to minus g. So these are four ODEs that we need to solve. Okay, And the overall ODEs will look in the vectorial form as shown over here. We will call this guy as vector capital Y. Okay, So let's go on to MATLAB and try to solve this problem. Cricket fun. And as we have been doing, function f val equal to cricket fun t comma capital Y. Okay. Get variables. Small x is y1. Small y is y2. Small u is y3. Small v is y4. constants gravity 
is 9.81 the value of kappa we choose as 0.006 okay this was the value that we had taken in lecture 1.1 so we will stick to that okay describing dy by dt okay so f val we are going to initialize that as a column vector we have four rows in a single column uh, dx by dt dy by dt du by dt and dv by dt so f val will initialize as zeros 4 comma 1 f val 1 equal to f val 2 equal to f val 3 equal to and f val 4 equal to sorry f val in brackets 4 equal to okay so what is dx by dt dx by dt is nothing but u dy by dt is nothing but v okay du by dt is du by dt is minus kappa multiplied by u minus kappa multiplied by u and dv by dt is minus g okay and that is all there is to it in cricket fun so we have saved this and now we will edit one more script file that will run this file for us so we'll call that as edit let's call this as dhoni sixes okay to solve trajectory of a ball hit with initial velocity okay and we let's see our v net was 35 v net equal to 35 theta equal to pi by 4 so our u naught is v net multiplied by cos theta and v naught is v net multiplied by sine theta okay we will also need to write x naught equal to 0 and y naught equal to 0 as well okay so we have all of these and let us initialize the initialization is our y naught is going to be equal to x naught y naught u naught v naught okay so let's write this over here initialization executing ode so we don't know what t span we need to use so let's say we are going to use t span as 0 to 10 okay so let's say t span is 0 to 10 and our t sol comma y sol is going to be equal to od 45 at t comma y the function name is cricket fun sorry cricket fun t comma y again uh, our t span is 0 to 10 and y naught okay verifying the results verifying the results so what we want to do is we want to plot y and x versus time so let's do plot t sol comma y sol let's plot all of that first and then we will see what's going to happen so let's run this oops undefined variable y sol because we need to have capital y over there so now let's run this and see what happens okay so the blue line is our uh, x the red line is our y so y is indeed going to zero or going below zero so what exactly is happening over here so what exactly is happening over here is this is that the uh, the ball trajectory it goes through a maxima and then it falls now 
in reality what happens is when the ball is going to hit the ground the model is no longer going to be applicable because that ball is going to bounce back that particular bouncing motion is not incorporated in our model so model is correct only till the point that y is greater than 0 so it looks like at approximately 5 or so y value has become less than 0 right so what we are going to do in x is we will just solve it for t span from 0 to 5 and let's run this okay yes so now we have got all the plots let's find out what is the value of y sol at the end the the value of vertical location at the end so y sol end comma 2 so that's at the last time the second row the se second column the second column represents the this loca location y from in the vertical direction so when we see this okay that value is still 1.118 so let's go and do this solve this until t span equal to 0 to 5.5 we will run this okay and we will again find out y sol so y sol has gone below 0 so it's gone substantially below 0 we don't want that to happen so we'll let's just try it up to this point okay and this is negative so we the ball has finally reached uh, reached the ground at this particular time okay so in order to verify the results what we want to check is we want to plot our x uh, location and our y location so what we will do is to plot all the rows that means at all times the x location and we will also want to plot the y location so 1 to 2 okay so this is what we are going to plot so what that is going to give us is how the x location changes and how the y location changes what we will do further is we will show the property editor and we will ensure that the y axis is plotted from 0 to the highest value okay okay so this is how the y location changes and this is how the x location is changing so the ball has indeed reached a point which is beyond 75 meters okay so this is the way we are plotting our uh, x location and our y location now let's say we wanted to and we have plotted this against the time so let's say we wanted to plot what the trajectory that ball takes and in order to do that we want to plot y in vertical axis and x in the horizontal axis so what we will do is that we will say x label time and y label location in meters okay we want to make another figure so plot t sol sorry not plot t sol plot y sol so that's the x location we want to plot at all times so all the rows and the first column will be the x location and we want to that so x location will be plotted on the x axis y location will be plotted on the y axis so that's going to be all comma 2 and we want to plot that as circles okay and x label x in meters and y label is y also in meters okay so let's save this and let's run this okay and this is how the ball trajectory has taken so this is how the ball goes when it was hit by Mahindra Singh Dhoni okay so let's go back to PowerPoint and see what we have done so far so what we have done today 
is we have taken the example that we started this particular course with. This particular course we started with showing an example of Dhoni hitting the ball at a particular angle at a particular given velocity and we want to find the trajectory that the ball takes. Okay, At that stage in lecture 1.1 I had said that I will cover this particular problem at a later stage. And today what we are doing is we are finishing off this particular course by taking up the same problem and solving it with our ODE solver ODE45. So with that I come to the end of this particular lecture and indeed into the end of this particular lecture series. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture series and you have learned how to do numerical computations using MATLAB. Thank you and see you later. Bye.